Hi friends, I am back again in my channel Easy Learning Lab. So friends, in my earlier interview videos, I have told you about five very important topics which are asked in the interview questions. In this video, we are going to tell you about 10 questions which are asked in 2021. So friends, let's start. So friends, the first question which was asked in 2020 was, what are different subset of SQL? So friends, just think for one minute, 30 seconds, I will be back with the answer. What type of answer you have to give for this type of question? So I am again repeating the question. What are different subset of SQLs? Okay friends, now we go for the answer. There are basically three, three subsets of SQL. DDL, DML, DCL. There is also one more that is a DQL. But if interview asks you what is the subset of SQL, you have to tell these three. These three are the main, main of the SQL. Like what is a DDL? It is a data definition language, DML, data manipulation language, DCL, data control language. So sometime interview will ask you what is DDL? What are the commands used in DDL? For this, you can watch my previous videos about DDL, DML, DCL operations. So for questions for interview questions i will again tell you ddl what are ddl data definition language there is a create and alter command okay dml insert update delete dcl data control grant and revoke so these are the commands in these are the commands of subset of sqls so remember friends so friend let's move to our next question what is primary key? Very basic questions. Just think 20 seconds. Yeah, friends, now I will tell you the answer. Basically, a primary key is the column which uniquely identify a single row in the table. So friends, you got the answer. What is primary key? A primary key is a column which uniquely identify a single row is in a table. And what are the properties of primary key? It should be a unique and it should be a not null. So this is basically very important property of primary key. Generally interview judge you, you understand the concept or not. If you know what is primary key, but if you don't know the concept, like what is the property of it? So interview will judge you that you have worked on primary key but you don't know the proper properties of that field so friends remember primary key is a unique and a not null okay friends third question what is constant so friends i will give you 20 seconds to think what are constants Okay friends, now what are constant? Constant are used to apply the rule limit on the data type on the table. Okay friends, so how many type of constant are there? There are basically five type of constants. We will name it not null, check, default, primary key, foreign key. So these are all the constant. It's a very basic questions. And let's move on to a fourth question. What are triggers? So friend, this is a definition of a trigger. A trigger are a specific type of a store proc that are defined on the execution, execute automatically when data get modified. So friends, this 
these are the definition basically define when execute automatically when data are modified like if you insert it update it delete it automatically it is triggered if you want to trigger automatically you have to write the trigger on it so this is the definition of trigger so next move on to our next question fifth what are the different operator in sql so friend think 20 seconds what are the operators there are basically three types of operator arithmetic operator logical operator and comparison operator so friends first one is arithmetic what are arithmetic operator arithmetic means plus minus multiply we have these operators correct second one is logical logical means less than greater than and or these are our logical operator and or not these are our logical operator and what is a comparison operator like equal to equal to which compare two values or greater than equal to which compare two values sorry for i have told you that logical operator is greater than equal to but they are not a logical operators they are basically a comparison operators so friends comparison operator equal to greater than where you are comparing two values are known as a comparison operator so friends got the answer of this question so sometime will interview will judge you like uh, how do you compare two values so you will compare you will use a comparator comparison operator how will you do a logical operator or arithmetic operator give you some formula and tell you write a sql query on it so you should know this basic concepts sixth question what are null values so every time i told you null there is a null values what are these basically null what what is this value what is significant either it is zero it is some value what is this so interview ask you what are null values so answer is null values is a value which is non zeros it is not zero it is a chunk value also also remember null is never equal to null if you compare to null it will never be equal it is a chunk value so remember this thing null is not equal to null okay friends now seventh how to count the record in the table if interview ask you how you will count the record in the table if there are in in the table there are 50 records how will count it count it ki there are 50 records what is the command for it so friends think 10 seconds so answer is basically a count operator count function we have a count count function what is the syntax of it select count star from table name what is give it give the whole count of that table like if there are 50 records it will give the count as 50 next write a sql query to find the name of the employee whose starting name starts with a so you have to find the name of the employee whose name starts with a how do you do it so thanks friends so basically we have a like operator this can be done by a like operator okay so what is the what is the syntax select star from employee where name like employee percentage percentage means a wild character okay percentage means like you will get a b c d a b c d a m p b m p all let us start with a if there is a scenario if 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 he found a word between two sentence two letters like a and last one with with d you can put a percentage d so it will be give a b c d a f g m d so first and last letter will be the a and d okay so this way our like operator works 
it's a very simple question now ninth one is different between between and in conditional operator so we have two conditional operator first one is a between and second one is a in operator so basically what is the difference and which scenario we will use between and which scenario we will use in so think 10 seconds friends yeah friends now this answer between operator is used when you have we have to do a range search like you have got a range like 10 to 20 in between 10 to you need 20 10 and 20 in between operator 10 and 20, 10 and 20 both are included they are not excluded they are included so when you have a range search you will do a between operator and while in is used conditional in the specific set of values if you have a specific set like if you want to find a employee id 10 and 12 and 13 or 10 and 12 so you use a in operator so that is a basic difference between is used for a range operation in is used use for a specific set of values okay remember interview will try to confuse you because you can do like if if i say 10 to 15 so you will do a between between 10 and 15 you are right using an in operator it will also get the same result you will write 10 11 12 13 14 15 a set of five values so it will give the same result so interview judge you like you know the basic difference between between and a in operator so it's a very important question so move on to our last question so how to fetch how do you fetch common records from the table what does this means common records how do you fetch a common records from basically it should be a two tables so how do you fetch a common records from two tables so remember in my previous videos i have told you about the set operators so which set operators give you a common common set of values i will give you 10 seconds yes friend i think you got it a intersect operator so if you have not followed this intersect operator you can watch my set video so that the concept will be clear so what will do set set will give you a common values between two tables so friends that's all for this interview i will tell you some intercept we have a few more operators i will tell you again the concept of it So friends if you want a common things so we have a set operator so this is one table this is one table so what this implies intersect these are the this shade this shaded portion is a common values so this is an intersect operator.